Well, another female ancestor that has left her indelible mark on Ragusa is Maria Paterno Arezzo, or as she was also known, the Princess of Castellacci. Maria was born in Catania in 1869. She was the younger of two daughters. Her father was Giuseppe Maria Paterno, Duke of Palazzo and the fifth Prince of Sparlinga. Her mother was Vincenzina Arezzo of the Barons of Donna Fogata. Vincenzina married the Duke when she was only 16 years old, but the marriage didn't go well and she and her two daughters were abandoned by the Duke, who left to live with another woman. Vincenzina fell into a depression, her health deteriorated, and she was no longer able to care for her two daughters. She died alone in Paris in 1888. Maria and Clementina moved to Ragusa to live with and be cared for by their grandparents, Corrado and Conchetta, who raised them as their own. Corrado was a fascinating person, and we'll have more about him a little later in this video. But he was most known for restoring the Danafogata Castle and of being a true Renaissance man, a politician, poet, musician, artist, and philanthropist. A man who surrounded himself with intellectuals, authors, and artists. So it was in this environment where Maria grew to love the arts, but who also understood her responsibility to help those less fortunate than herself. In 1889, at the age of 19, Marie married Francesco Marullo Balsamo, Prince of Castellacci, and scion of one of the most prestigious families of Messina. And after the wedding, Maria reluctantly moved to that faded city, leaving her grandparents and her beloved Ragusa behind. Marie and her husband tragically died under the rubble of their home, which was devastated by the 1908 earthquake. The city was so devastated that it took months until their home was excavated and their bodies recovered. But also recovered in the rubble was Maria's last will and testament, dated February 8, 1900, which bequeathed a huge portion of her fortune to the construction and ongoing maintenance of a hospital reserved for the poor and needy of Ragusa. And after the many legal disputes regarding her will were settled, construction began in 1914 in the open countryside just across from Ragusa Ibla. And on January 28, 1923, the hospital Maria Paterno Arezzo was inaugurated and has been in operation ever since. In 2008, the 100th anniversary of Maria's death, the city of Ragusa commemorated her life with a series of touching events. And by some accounts, the most moving was the playing of the music from Aida, the opera that had played in the Opera House of Messina just hours before the devastating earthquake. The celebrations were testament that Ragusa had not forgotten its unfortunate and generous daughter.